Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm Dr. Lenz, and today I am super duper pumped because we're gonna do one of my favorite things ever is bake. And we're going to bake some protein chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, which are my absolutely favorite cookies. When we get into it, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to perfect that protein cookie. But before I do, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe so you never miss another helpful video. Okay, so before we get into everything, I want to just go over, why do I make protein cookies? Well, to keep it simple, A, we got some protein in there, B, they are better ingredients, and C, they're just absolutely delicious, so why not? All right, so let's get into it. First things first, we're going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead, set the oven, We are locked and loaded now with the oven, 300 degrees. All right, the first ingredient we're going to do is going to be our protein. So we're gonna have one cup of protein. I always recommend tip number one to bake with level one protein. I have tried a lot of other proteins to bake with. They don't turn out the same. Um, it has a lot to do with the quality of the protein itself to how it bakes. So we're gonna do one cup of level one. You can use any flavor. This is vanilla ice cream though. I also enjoy cinnamon cookie batter, um, ice cream sandwich. Those are going to give you a classic chocolate chip cookie. As you can tell, I'm almost out of this protein, so we're digging here at the bottom. All right, so one cup. That's about two scoops, but since I'm digging. All right, one cup, level one, going in the hatch. Next up, we have our almond flour. That is also going to be one cup of almond flour. I just get mine at Walmart. You can also get a great deal at Costco or um, Sam's Club also has great deals on almond flour. So a little tip here, I just put a scooper, a leftover level one scooper in my almond flour bag. Easy peasy. So we got one cup almond flour. Then we have two eggs, so we're gonna crack the eggs. I do mix the wet and dry ingredients in these cookies. It doesn't make a difference as far as the taste goes or how they look, they still turn out great. Next, we have our grass-fed butter. I like to use the Kerrygold unsalted butter. Grass-fed is going to be better for you. We're gonna have some good healthy fats in there. Another tip, tip number two, the butter consistency or temperature matters. So my tip, room temperature butter. So I don't know if you can see, but it is soft, kind of squishy here. If it's as cold as the fridge, it's not going to mix as well. And if you melt it too much in the microwave where it's liquid, your cookies are going to be runny. So room temperature butter, do that, and your cookies will turn out delicioso. All right. Last but not least, before I turn on the KitchenAid, we have one teaspoon of baking soda. That'll go right in there. And now we're going to mix it. All right, now we have two more ingredients. I'm gonna show you quickly this consistency of the dough. It is absolutely delicious. You're gonna to wanna to mix until completely combined like you would any other baking recipe. All right, I'm gonna scrape this on out. Now, if you don't have a KitchenAid, that's A-OK. -okay. You can use your hand, you can stir by hand, you can use a handheld sand mixer. All right, so two more ingredients. I personally fold these in with my spatula here that I have. So. First things first, we have our oatmeal. So we're gonna do one and one half cup of oatmeal. You can use quick oats or old fashioned oats. I actually prefer old fashioned oats, but this past week I did just get the quick oats on accident, but that's okay, it still works. So we got one and one half cup oatmeal. Get that one and then a half, make it a mess. I don't know, do you guys make a mess when you bake? Drop it below. You make a mess or are you nice and tidy tidy? Because I tend to make a mess. This is me being nice and neat. All right, so we're just gonna fold those in by hand. Once these are, it's well combined again, 
we're going to then add in our chocolate chips. So let me show you here. Ooh, I wanna eat the dough. There's the oatmeal mixed in by hand. And don't tell me y'all don't lick, you don't lick your fingers and eat dough when you're making cookies, cause I do. All right, last but not least, the most glorious part is the chocolate chips. We got one cup chocolate chips. We have mini chocolate chips, highly recommend that. Highly re also recommend chocolate chunks. It's really good in here too. So one cup chocolate chips, and then again, we're just gonna fold it in by hand until well combined. And then next, I'm gonna show you how I space the cookies out on the pan here and how I shape them as well. Because I get a lot of questions about this and I want your guys' cookies to turn out as delicious as this. These are kid approved too. They're so good, kids will eat them. All right, so that's what it looks like here. I wanna take a big old bite off the spatula with the chocolate chips in here. Yummy, it smells so good too. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna grab the pan and we're gonna put them on the pan. And just to let you know, these are really easy to make. This is really fast and simple. All right, grabbing the pan. So let's go ahead and place these cookies on the pan. I'm gonna take this off, get the spatula off. And what I want you to do is just grab a tablespoon then we're gonna go ahead and just scoop it out. I do a heaping tablespoon. I've been told I make big cookies, <laughs> but I do a heaping tablespoon. Place it right on the pan. Make sure you have parchment paper or a silicone, which I highly recommend. I'll link that up. Heaping tablespoon. I like big cookies and I cannot lie. All right. So we got three in a row here. Okay, that is our magic trick right here. Look at all these delicious cookies. Notice how I have three rows and then they're evenly spaced out and they're all about the same size. All right, I'm not just going to leave them this shape. I'm actually going to take them individually and I'm going to shape them. I like to loosely pack them into little half shaped balls, I guess you could say. Um, I, again, I don't pack them tight into tight little bite-sized cookies. They're just loosely packed. I think that's something that people mess up on is just they pack them too tight. So loosely packed, just like this, and we're gonna put them in the oven for six minutes on 300 degrees. All right, exactly six minutes to perfection and these cookies are going to be done no matter what you think when you touch them. So this is another tip. A lot of times we'll overcook or overbake the protein cookies, just like when anything else we bake, we don't wanna overbake things because then they'll be dry. Okay, but these, they have a nice, you see the squishiness? They're nice and squishy. You might normally think they're not done, but once these cool, they harden up they get firmer, okay? They're not hard. They're a soft, chewy cookie. But just because it's really gooey in the center right now, like let me show you, see how gooey that is? That's going to harden up just a little bit as they cool, and let me tell you, they are delicious. So don't put them in the oven for another two minutes, three minutes, they'll be overcooked and they'll be dry. So that is my other tip. I'll say that's probably one of the most common fails with the protein cookie is do not over bake them. All right, so there you have it, my favoritest ever better ingredient cookie, the protein oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. These are perfect for the holidays. This level one right here is scrum diddly umptious. The protein, I'm gonna put that below and that does help support me, I appreciate it so much. This is also an exclusive recipe in our daily feel good membership where we have yummy better option treats, recipes for the whole entire family, so be sure to check that out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm going to get eat to eating a few cookies here. Have a great day. Peace and love.